Hello friends, in this video we will be making the polyoxometallate compound ammonium nonamolybdomanganate. Chemicals required for this experiment are 15 grams of ammonium heptamolybdate, 1.45 grams of potassium permanganate and 50 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Here we have everything arranged for the use in this synthesis video. From the right we have a magnetic steering bar, beakers with 3% hydrogen peroxide, potassium permanganate and ammonium heptamolybdate. Behind we have dilute 3 molar sulfuric acid solution, 2 beakers, one with 250 and another 500 milliliter beaker, a 500 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with some water, graduated cylinder with water and pH paper. A 500 milliliter beaker was placed on a hot plate stirrer and 15 grams of ammonium heptamolybdate was added. A steering bar was then placed in the beaker and 150 milliliters of distilled water was added to it. Steering was turned on and continued till everything dissolved. It took around 4 to 5 minutes of stirring to get everything completely dissolved and finally we were left with a clear solution. Now few milliliters of sulfuric acid which is the dilute 2 molar sulfuric acid was added using a glass dropper in order to make the pH around 4. I added about 15 milliliters of acid in total. A pH paper was used for that. Initially, you can see the pH paper does not have any color change indicating the pH is around 7. So more acid was added. Now the pH paper shows an orange color which is approximately around 4. You can very well see that comparison with the color chart. Now we have to dissolve the potassium permanganate. Transfer it to the 250 milliliter beaker which is placed on a hot plate stirrer. A stirring bar was added and then with stirring 100 milliliters of distilled water was added to dissolve the compound. The solution acquires a very dark purple color. We have to continue stirring for approximately 15 minutes. As we see the color is very deep purple color we anticipate that everything dissolved but most of it may remain undissolved so continue stirring for a longer duration now add the potassium permanganate solution to the ph adjusted solution of ammonium heptamolybdate you can add everything at once now the temperature was raised to 80 degrees celsius and maintained at that temperature. Some 3% hydrogen peroxide solution was taken in a separatory funnel. I took about 50 milliliters. The separatory funnel was then clamped and fixed just on top of the beaker and hydrogen peroxide was allowed to fall dropwise to the solution. What is happening here is a redox reaction and the potassium permanganate the manganate ion, the permanganate ion is getting reduced to the manganate plus 2 state. This in turn forms the oxometallate complex with the molybdate. You have to add the hydrogen peroxide very slowly because until the end point of the reaction, the solution remains unchanged. That is the deep purple color remains the same and when it reaches the end point, Almost immediately the color turns to an orange red color which is almost resembling a dichromate solution. Here you can very well notice that beautiful orange color which developed after adding the hydrogen peroxide. Heating was then stopped and the beaker was allowed to come down to room temperature. By that time some of the crystals already started precipitating out. The beaker was then placed in refrigerator overnight and as you can see a lot of crystals came out of the solution. Many crystals got stuck onto the walls of the beaker 
and they were also scraped off using the flat end of the metal spatula. Finally, the solution was vacuum filter to collect the crude crystals. You can also use gravity filtration method here because the crystal size is very large compared to very small microcrystalline precipitates. So the water will easily get passed through the filter paper pores. But since I have access to the vacuum filtration setup now, I used the Buckner funnel for that. And here you can very well see the beautiful orange colored crystals of ammonium nonamolybdo manganate. The final product weighed 8.65 grams. So that's all in this video on preparation of this unusual polyoxometallate compound. Hope you have all loved this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description.